Hello, it's Mike from the FXPivotPoint.com. Look, the FXPivotPoint.com. And we're going to talk about some analysis, but first, first things first, let's talk about this cool website. Uh huh. This new website, look how professional it looks. Look at the differences. Uh, look at this. Uh, this is how it should look. And then this is what it looks like in uh, just these little differences in uh, Firefox. And I'm not becoming a fan of Firefox. Uh, look at the, the text here. Look at the text here. Uh, very, very strange. I'm sure someone's got a, a good explanation, but I don't know it. Either way, um, this is a, the content that's it's very straightforward. Uh, for those that are that have been on the site before, it's it's really the same thing. I've got my intro about the what's going on. We have managed accounts. Managed accounts. If you're familiar, we've moved the uh, the initial investment amount to 50k to eliminate the uh, the less interested smaller amounts. Um, testimonials, contact. You can now contact us. A little bit of feedback uh, for questions about maybe the system, or maybe you, you can even send some feedback here if you want to talk about um, questions uh, you'd like to see me do videos with. By the way, uh, no idea where that city is, huh? Chicago, maybe? No clue. All right, these are just stock images. Either way, it's a lot more readable, looks more professional. A um, little bit of flash right up here when you. When you come back, come into the site. Look at that, huh? Get ready. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move to what you guys want to see. You want to see this? This should have been uh, for those who do, for those even for those who don't trade my system, for those who just watch my videos. This should have been very easy. Uh, the yen has just been getting killed, and obviously killed further. But this should have been. Um, Where's my tool? There it is. Let's bring VB Doodle up for a second. 13, my god. Let's knock it down to 4. Let's move it up here in the left hand corner. And let's look at that. How many times have we said, look where it stops. Price action comes down the day before. It's below the pivot point the entire day before. It can't muster any energy. This is an easy sell. Look what it does when it, after we move down to S2, number one, where does it find support in a day? Right at S2. Uh, and look where it comes back up. Oh, look. So my system fires the signal, which is early. Uh, it's alright. You never, never would have hit your stop. Never would have come close. Would have been no sweat because you would have known that the pivot point was right here. And then, woo, look at that. Uh, most of us who trade our system know that there's a profit target somewhere in here. <laughs> I don't want to give the system away, but obviously for those that know the system, it would have hit our profit target easily. And that would have been uh, very two easy trades in a day. And if you go back and look, let's go back and look. What did it do the day before, you think? Ooh, look where it stopped the day before. It did the exact same thing. Two days in a row. Okay, we come up here. Great short. Great short. Look at this. Fight, fight, fight. I'm sorry. Just doesn't make it. Look at this. Got some cells. Cells. Whoop. Easy trades there. Alright, what's the euro? Some big block. Ooh, the euro's moving up, huh? Who knows what's going on here? Look, we're already at R2 in a day. Remember, once you see this, yes, this this probably would have been a very good sell for some scalps. I, I definitely would have taken this. No doubt in my mind. Where's that little VB? I definitely would have taken this. And, I, and then I would, I'm sure I would have scalped this too if I would have seen this. Um, and surely I would have got stopped out here. Look, we move up. Look what it does. Look what it does patches up through there. We get a very small pullback and right up back through again. Consolidation, right? 
consolidation, consolidation. You don't sell here because look how far above the pivot point we are. Look where this thing is thing stopping. I mean, this thing is so, um, you know, it's so oversold to begin with that whatever is causing this, whatever news we have here, we've got lots of room to run. We really do. All right, we'll have to see. Now, you know, we may, we may put a stick in this thing tomorrow uh, with NFP. But uh, right now, what you're looking for on the day is to get a nice pullback. You know, I don't know. Let's see what's our pullback look like. I mean, I, if it comes back anywhere near here, near because we've got we've got R1 on the day, which is a 2305, which is right near this. And what's 2300? Massive psych level. All right. So if it comes back anywhere near here, even on some news, uh, I'd probably be a buyer with a stop. You know here below the pivot point because we're gonna get this all right or at least gonna get all right if we look at that we are gonna get this we're gonna come up we're gonna come up who knows how high we're gonna come here somewhere in this area maybe to 50 2350 and then we're gonna move again all right unless some news comes out that totally negates this but on the day we're talking very very bullish euro um, and when it's this much above, this much above, the pivot point, there you know where we're selling. We're not going to fade this. We're not going to fade this because it's above the pivot point, and we're not going to fade this because this thing has got room to run. Who knows where it's going? All right, so let's kill that. Let's go look at our long term. All right, send you to there. Let's go look at our long term pound. Look at that. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> The pound. <laughs> All right, look at here. Look, remember we talked about before. We talked here when this thing was going up here, right? Uh, I showed you. I'm, I'm positive I did this in the video before. Let's bring up that little VB doodle thing. Um, I said once it starts to get outside these Bollinger bands, what happens? Uh, it's going to pull back. And I said if it pulls back in the red, just like it does here, what happens? Boink. Same thing. We get out here. It's outside, outside, outside. Whoop. And look what it does. It comes down and touches this. Well, it goes much further. Uh, but it comes down and touches this Bollinger Bands in the middle. And then look where it look. Look how far it is outside before whatever's causing that to go ape shit. Interesting stuff, huh? That's a four-hour chart. So, all right. Let's go out. Let's see where else we got. Uh, long term. Do I have any long term charts here on the euro long term? What's long term? Dailies. Uh, yeah. Nothing really to get excited about there, is there? And, well, we're going to see some resistance here. Don't know. But look at the size of that candle. Who's getting in front of that? Not me. No, thanks. Boo, look at that. Look how far, you know what they say. When a currency gets to S3, you can just sell and look away. Uh, I don't believe that. I sure shit wouldn't do that. But boy, this thing, I mean, who knows where this is going. Uh, I don't even want to look at a long-term chart. All right, so you're up again. I was 24. Oh, and look where we're getting some serious. Where, did, where are we We're just talking about? Psych levels, where in the hell? There he is. There he is. All right, as, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, look, we just talked about psych levels. Look, what do we have right here? Whoop! Look where he hits and pulls back. No, I don't think he's done. Pull back. What time is it? Oh, well, maybe. He might be done for a few minutes. We might get some consolidation here. Who knows? Because it's it's we're heading into the 9 o'clock hour, remember? Uh, oftentimes, especially into the... the uh, U.S. session, uh, we we usually get a, some nice consolidation or, or reversals at nine. At uh, there's our time, uh, at nine o'clock, and uh, I, I mean, you would have to be a fool not to think that's not going to R3 today, unless something major happens again. Unless maybe there's an options barrier here, I don't know about. But this thing, if I'm a betting man, oh, and I am. We are going to go to R3 today. Probably 2,500. All right. Well, we'll see.